Hello everyone, today I'll be using the visitor from Hellboy the Board Game to show how object source lighting, or OSL, can quickly punch up the quality of a paint job. I will already start with a base painting over the figure. I've used gray and metallics for the clothing and blue-gray pale for the skin, as well as some washes. I then paint some blue-gray pale back over the skin on the upward facing areas, being careful to let the wash remain in the creases. Picking up some black paint, I line the points in the armor where the suit meets the metal. I take an old weather brush and lightly tap and sweep on another highlight over the skin. I do this to provide texture for the lighting effect later on. Now it's time to make our light source. The cube in their hand will glow bright green light. That's why I left it white. The fluorescent greens I paint on will remain the brightest point on the model. Adding some depth to the light source, I use Escorpina Green dabbed around the edges to make the cube look like it has a hot core. With a dry brush, I take the fluorescent green and wipe it on a towel, then sweep it across the figure where the light would hit. I want the cube and the face to be the two focal points. In order to do so, I cheat on the face and apply almost as much dry brushing as the hand, keeping the strokes on one side of the face. And with that, we have some easy object source lighting on the figure. Adding an effect like this lets you create dynamic paint jobs with very little effort. I hope you try this for yourselves on your next figure. See you next time.